breaking all of the rules in the Philippines. Not by me, not by expats, but by the Filipinos themselves. I don't know what I've got going on over here, but we're going to talk about that in this video. But all of a sudden, right when I started filming, all of these cars stopped on the other side of the park and have like put on their hazard signals and just parked. So I may be having an event we're getting ready to come up on, but we're gonna try to finish this video. So this park is really neat. This is right across from park, Crocodile Park. It's kind of like a picnic area. And then they've got soccer fields there, uh, parking and stuff over here. And there's actually very, very few rules here. Some of them are not parking on the side of the road like all of those cars are now doing. There's signs everywhere. In fact, I'll walk down here and I'll show you those signs. But the other rules while we're walking is that you're not supposed to litter and you are not supposed to practice driving or do loud noises in here to disturb everybody. And so that's it. That's pretty much it as far as the rules go, other than if they have a sign up, you're supposed to obviously acknowledge those rules. So you can see, if you can see that sign there and that sign there, or signs over there, all of these signs are basically saying no parking around the main road, which now everyone is ignoring. So you're not going to be able to see me well. I'm going to show you all the park as we walk and talk. But one of the big ones is they got signs everywhere talking about litter. And you'll see everybody's just chucking their trash, There's masks, more masks everywhere. So apparently, you know, the cigarette butts, that's a big pet peeve of mine. You know, people who smoke, I never have personally, but just throwing their cigarette butts everywhere along trails or in pretty parks like this, I just find it so rude. It is a huge pet peeve of mine. There we got somebody's lunch. So the littering is not taking very literally. So earlier, when I came down this way, I'm going to show you this parking area. You can see there's about three cars here parked in it. But I started to come in earlier on my bike. And I came across what I'm about to show you. Now we can see... Okay, so you just saw what I saw there with that truck, but this was what I was going to show you. The sign specifically says what? No entry. And by the way, that is the, the, the logo there, the CTTMO. That's the traffic police. So as you can see, that's being taken real seriously. So I had come in here earlier, and obviously I didn't park in here or come in with my bike because I saw that sign and, you know, the police were saying don't do that. To me, that's maybe something to listen to. But I saw that was being ignored as well as one other rule that's very important to this park. And they've got signs up everywhere as you're coming in, which basically says you are not supposed to practice driving here. Whether that be learning to ride a motorbike, whether that be riding a car, they don't want people doing that and coming in and disturbing the peace. I think I'd forgotten to tell you all about that one, but they don't want that. They don't want new learners coming in here and doing that. Well, when I first got here, there was, and I'll show you a little bit of video of it here in a second, but it's basically a kid riding on his bike on a motorbike, learning to ride a motorbike. It's, it's, it's louder than, you know, a, a real big motorbike, to be honest with you. Just doing circles all around here, doing laps, breaking not one, not two, but three of the rules with dad or granddad or whoever standing by. Sierra, I'll show you the video right now. That was the clip anyway. And you can see 
sure comes the motor rack, but all of this trash and stuff here. That wasn't the kid, that was one of the uh, adults that were him, with him helping him, uh, you know, teaching the kid good moral character and disobeying laws all over the Philippines to, so he'll be an upright citizen one day. Just, uh, but some people think they're above the rules. But anyway, I just, I found that funny when I was out here, I was doing my walk and I was doing some filming anyway, so I thought I'd mention that. Uh, this may end up being a members only one because God knows everybody will be upset with me for posting this, but it's true and it's things you ought to see and know about at least where I'm at today. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, or at least took it with the grain of humor that it was meant to have. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one.